Hi, I'm Eric Westrich, and you're here at Hera Hub as part of San Diego Coworking Week, and you can find more about that at San Diego Coworking Week. And we're here with uh, Sarah Becerra, who's the community director. Did I get that right? <laughs> Thank you. We are super excited. The people are starting to come for our Business Acceleration Expo, and it's going to be a really amazing day of entrepreneurial support. So, Sarah, did co-working find you, or did you find co-working? Ooh, that's a great question. I uh, kind of stumbled upon the entire concept. I hadn't heard of it and was working for a big company in corporate, sitting in a cube every day, and just knew I wanted something a little bit more. And my best friend was actually a co-working, uh, Hera Hub co-working member. And she told me about this concept, and I thought, that's great, but I'm not going to start my own business anytime soon, um, even though I would like to eventually. And they had this community director role open up and interviewed, got it. I've been here for a year and a half and my whole life has changed. My confidence has gone up. My whole perspective of entrepreneurship has gone up and it's really just an incredible environment to be in. That sounds fantastic. Let's take a, just a quick trip inside here. You can show us the lobby. You can tell us what is this dream of Hera Hub. Why is Hera Hub different or alike all other all other places? There's a lobby here. People are checking in for a, an event that uh, you can tell us about in a minute. So well, you can see you have the fountain, the candles. Um, it's we say we're spa inspired, but we're so much more than that. When we want when you walk into Hera Hub, we want you to feel calm. We want you to feel like it's a professional space, but one that you can just come in and relax in. It's not stifly. It's not super um, sterile. It's warm and inviting. And beyond that, Hera Hub itself ship and helping female entrepreneurs to really take their businesses to the next level. So some co-working spaces have different niches. Ours just happens to be ha helping women. So uh, your job is to make people, first of all, feel comfortable because uh, different environments for different folks. So first of all, comfortable, and then I guess you can talk about how you have to support that comfort, why that's different. Let's go ahead and take a walk into the main room, and then you can tell us a little bit about uh, what are your challenges in keeping all these people comfortable and uh, keeping them happy. So. What is the biggest challenge in your day-to-day -day life that gets dumped in your lap as the community director? That is a big question, and um, I think the biggest answer to this one is we have so many different levels of business, so many different types of women, so many different types of industries that we represent as a co-working space that really continuing to find those events, those workshops, those different resources that meet the needs of all 140 plus women here, um, 300 plus across San Diego, that really nails down what every single woman needs. And that's not always an easy feat, but it's one we're continually revamping and changing to make sure that we are doing our best to support all women. So you've got an event here today. Do you find that most of your events that you connect people with are actually at your sites or is part of letting people know about events out of your uh, location also important? Definitely both. So we do have a ton of events that happen here and at each of our Hera Hub locations, but we're very in touch with different women's networking groups and different small business resources like SCORE and Axion, who are actually here today, um, to make sure that our members know what they're doing too, so they have the full holistic sphere of everything that can support their biz. So, Sarah, what's going on uh, today? We've got lots of different people and uh, snacks. So, what's going on today? This is our Business Acceleration Expo. It is the second time we've done this event. And the first time was in January. We had about 60-plus people here at Sorrento, hoping for about that or more today, where we have each of our members who are gurus or subject matter experts in different areas. They're here for open office hours. We also have eight different mini workshops happening between 10 and 2, and also a couple of additional resources that I mentioned. SCORE is here, Axion. Really, we want all of the resources under one roof. You come, you get the support you need, you make connections that will last far beyond this day and leave feeling really charged up. 
Great. So uh, show us around some more. Let's see what we have. I see there's a conference room. In the conference room, all of our workshops will be happening. So we're about to get those started. So that room is about to be very, very packed. <laughs> and then if you pan around, we have our big main co-working space, which is normally filled with people head down and working, sometimes collaborating. But today, it's just filled with conversation and um, really great connections. So uh, people can come in here and just as a member get a desk when they want it at that level? Yes, yes. So our space essentially is it's open seating. Everyone, we have different membership levels and um, based on different business needs, but very flexible options. So normally this is filled with people just working on their business, collaborating with one another, and, and really getting stuff done. And can people get offices also? We have three private offices here, a few at each of our locations. Um, so yeah, we have the private space if people need it. A lot of people find they don't quite need it yet, and so the, the shared workspace works really well. Okay, so we saw a conference room there. I don't know if we took a look at it. There's a kind of meeting room with uh, whiteboards just as you, uh, let's go take a look real quickly. Meeting room uh, here as you walk in. And I'm assuming people can just go ahead and book those rooms if they're members? Yep, members can book everything online. We have an app. It's, everything is super simple and seamless to do whatever you need to do on the go. All right. What else is exciting here? Uh, let's see. So this is the main space full in here. Um, we can show you back in the, the back of the space, just to give you the full 360 tour. We have a few standing desks throughout the space for a little more ergonomical. And, uh, and of course, you can sit on a ball if you like instead of a chair. That's always exciting. Bouncing. For people to come and sit and read a book. We have tons of books in our library, business books, books for just relaxation. That is our uh, superhero phone booth. Go in, take a quick call, and uh, come out. Who knows? Now I, noticed there's a, I noticed there's a superhero outfit in there in uh, case you need. Has anybody ever put that on? Not to my knowledge, but I've only been here a year and a half. Things could have gone much differently before my time. Okay, and uh, this is another room people can book to. Is that true? Yes, so this is a, uh, another small meeting room, has the large whiteboard. That room actually also doubles as our video room. So tucked behind that curtain, we have all kinds of video equipment, professional lighting, a professional camera um, for members to be able to create videos for their business on demand. Really? I'm excited about that. And here you have Hera Labs. I think uh, Felina in the interview that people can see on the page startupshowsd.com and on the uh, Startup Show SD YouTube, they can see uh, Felina. Um, but she talked about Hair Labs. Do you have anything to do with Hair Labs? I certainly am very supportive of everything we they do. They're the educational arm of Hair Hub, so we all kind of work together on this mission of um, helping women grow their businesses. So Hair Labs is the educational arm of Hair Hub. And they do accelerator, business accelerator and incubator programs, um, most of which are 12 weeks long, where they have small cohorts where people get individualized attention to really take their businesses either from idea to actual launch or scaling their business. If they've been in business for a few years but are kind of in a rut, they need some extra support to take it to the next level. Something else that's a little different is uh, you've got the workspace here, Hera Hubs, Hub, and then you have Hera Labs, which is an incubator, then Hera Angels, which is also funding. So you're trying to get all three arms, which is something a little different about Hera Hubs. Yes, catching all levels, all stages, all aspects of business under one roof is, is definitely the goal with Hera Angels. Hera Fund is a fund that Sylvia Ma, who runs Hera Labs, started um, funding those female entrepreneurs and... Uh, yeah, so one-stop shop is, is the goal. All right, so kitchen, it's uh, nice to know that you can get uh, red licorice whips whenever you want. That's important. <laughs> My favorite thing here is I'm always a huge fan of places that have tea, so much appreciated that. Yep. We got the coffee, too, for those extra extra caffeine needs. And then back in this corner are a few um, 
private offices. This is also, we call it our community corner, where we feature all of our members' business cards sorted by industry, so you can see, get a, a good overview of just the types of different businesses. It's a huge, wide range. So, Sarah, what is the best thing that any of your members have ever said to you, the thing that makes you happiest or proudest to work here? You know, I've, I've never been an entrepreneur myself, but I really, it's definitely a goal of mine. But seeing these women uh, just work insanely hard, following their passion every single day, and knowing that I am a part of supporting that. Um, we have different programs that are just uh, little add-ons. We call them our plus programs, and one of them is the accountability program. And sometimes these women have these huge ideas, and they're so talented, and just sitting down and making a list of the things they want and need to do um, is something that is hard for them. So I led this member through an accountability program, and her world opened up. And I feel like I'm unqualified for that because she's so impressive, but just being able to support this entrepreneur in her huge goals just by sitting down and having these conversations and setting these goals for herself um, widely changed how she perceived her business and opened up a whole um, a whole door for where she can go with it. Uh, another question. I anybody brings pet? Is this a pet-free or a pet-friendly uh, uh, zone? We are mostly pet-free. There have been a few occasions where... Um, members have had emergencies and of course we want to be as accommodating as possible and as long as no one has allergies or an issue we have let those dogs come in for the day very good um in looking ahead what are you most exciting about say what are you personally most excited about right now hmm. well a big focus of hera hub right now and i know i'll tie it into me don't worry um, is expanding, is expanding to different cities in the U.S. and internationally. So we have three San Diego locations and a location in Washington, D.C. We're expanding through a licensing model, but that is the thing that gets me the most, most jazzed is to bring this model to cities that are, that don't have anything to support women. They, they really are missing the mark in in this asset that they're ignoring and bringing Hera Hub and bringing these women together is, is huge. So I just get jazzed about watching that happen. And, and you're going overseas. Yes, 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 yes. So the next potential very close uh, location is going to be in Stockholm, Sweden. So international expansion. I'm so excited. And maybe one day I'll, I'll go and visit. So are you polishing up on your Swedish to maybe uh, get a stint working overseas? Uh. I'm going to start. I got my Google Translate app. I'm so ready. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Very good. Anything else we should know about uh, Hera Hub? Uh, I think everyone should know about Hera Hub. <laughs> just in general, just spread the message that we are a space to support women. We want to support you in whatever you're doing. And um, if you know anyone who wants to be a part of it, let us know. And how does somebody find out about Hera Hub? Herahub.com. We actually just relaunched our website in brand new design. Really easy to find and navigate through. Um, so Herahub.com will tell you everything you need to know. So Sarah, thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much. This is so fun.